Hello everyone, thanks for joining us for a story today. We're going to read Sullivan, who is always too loud. It's written by Michael Osco and it's illustrated by Brian Biggs. Now, once we've shared our story and you watch it over and over again, remember that next week, starting March 15th, is our grab and go kits that are available. Now, we're even going to have family craft night here in the building from six to seven. You'll wanna call and sign up so that we know you're coming. But let's start our story. Sullivan, who is always too loud. We have some loud people in my family, so I think I know how this is going to be. This is Solomon. Sullivan, who is always too loud. Not just sometimes, not just often. Hello! Always too loud. At home, Mom says, Sullivan, Ella Baby is sleeping. Sullivan, Mr. Jenkins downstairs will complain. Sullivan, I can't hear myself think. You're, suppo you're not supposed to hear thinking, Sullivan shouts. He shouts it loudly. And Ella Baby wakes up and the dog barks and Mr. Jenkins downstairs raps on the floor of his, on their floor, which is his ceiling with his cane because Mr. Jenkins likes quiet at night. Rapping on his cane means keep it down, Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan tries his best. Mama says, it's a start. At school, Miss Chow says, Sullivan, it's reading time now. Sullivan, it's Leah's turn for share chair. Sullivan, Miss Gomez cannot teach percussion with your cymbals crashing away. Smash! Sullivan smashes his cymbals loudly once more because percussion means booming sounds so mrs chow should be proud she sends sullivan to the peace place for thinking as you can see it says quiet sullivan tries to explain to mama i have loudness in my body, bubbling up always. You can see his bubbles. His bubbles. And it always has to come out. Ah! He makes a giant Tarzan jungle yell. Mom says it does not come it does not have to come out at the grocery store. All through dinner all through bath time and all through bedtime story. Sullivan squishes his loudness down, down, down. Look at him holding it all in. But the next morning, it bubbles back up. Outside, Mr. Jenkins sits on the stoop in his green every Wednesday suit. Green like a ferocious dinosaur. Sullivan, he's a dinosaur too. His loudness bubbles up into a ferocious dino. Oh yeah, you guys got it. Are you going to roar with me? Roar! Oops. Mr. Jenkins frowns. Frowning means, oh Sullivan. Mama asks, have you tried counting? One, two, three. I think Sullivan tries it, because look, one, two, three. Mama says, oh, it's a start. At school, Sullivan tries again. During center time, when there are no red blocks. During share time, when it's Brady's turn, where is it? Oh, the share chair. During movement, which is for silly jumping, it's not easy, but counting squishes the loudness down. So as you see through the day, he's doing one, two, three. So his counting is squishing the loudness down. At recess, 
Modin gives Sullivan a turn with his yellow super high bouncing ball. Sullivan wants to sing a bouncy song at the top of his lungs. As you can see, boing, boing, boing. But the loudness is squished so deep inside that the song won't come out. <gasps> what if the loudness is squished inside forever? Then, when it was time to go inside, everyone lines up. Everyone except, where's Mrs. Chow? Annalise! She's far away in a tall grass monster corner of the playground. She doesn't hear Miss Chow. Solomon feels a bubble, 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 rumble. Oh, no! Now is an eyes on the teacher time, but Sullivan must. Now the, tea, the tree drum, the tree stump is a jungle king platform. One, two, three. Look at all his bubbles, it's bubbling up. His loudness, oh, his loudness is going to be there. gives an enormous extra wild Tarzan jungle yell. I like how it knocks his classmate off her feet. <laughs> but Annalise hears and she comes running. Miss and Miss Chow, she smiles. Why thank you Sullivan for choosing the right time for loudness. Sullivan is proud, proud, proud. The feeling bubbles up. Sullivan tries to count. One, two. Thank you! But Mrs. Chow just laughs. She says, it's a start. Oops. And Sullivan laughs too. What a fun book. But it is hard sometimes to know when it's the right time to be loud, when it's the right time to not be loud. I hope you had fun and enjoyed the book. We'll talk to you later.